All right, so, hey, yo. Cool. We got everything on. I got my thing. Uh, yes. All right, so what's up, YouTube? It's Tommy L. Finger. The man. Um, sorry, that was so lame. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Tommy L. Finger. I have no idea if I'm going to keep this intro, but today I want to talk about a question I got asked. I'm going to make a video about what we got. 3-1, Dragonfly, and... Uh, should it be used more often? That was a question I got. Somebody asked me earlier. They were like, should I use that more? I see you doing that a lot. Sometimes I run into a place where people just start ducking it. And I don't know what to do. Uh, so, I'll talk about that real quick. Get my, um, get my stuff set up. Why is that coming out of there? Cool. All right, so we're gonna go and get Yoshi. I'm gonna get Yoshi Me Too. Yoshi Me Too. Pick up this cool. But yeah, three one Dragonfly, and here's what to expect when you use it. This is gonna be about conditioning, conditioning opponents to respond to it the right way so that you can get ready for the next battle against them in more than one way that's pretty much the basis of it but yeah so today i want to talk about yoshi one of yoshi's best moves pretty sure everybody feels the same way if they don't if they don't they should they're gonna figure it out but i love this move if you've ever seen any of my other videos i'm spamming that joint like i'm using the fuck out of that shit and that's because it's perfect there's literally no way out of conditioning. Once you're using enough, you see the results provided by, you know, switching the option that you choose based on how your opponent responds to it. It's perfect. And then it'll just become, it'll just be like second nature to see it happen. Um, once they respond to it, you'll know what to do next. You don't even have to think about it no more. So I'm going to talk about it today. And then after I get done talking, and, you know, yapping, I'm going to do some, uh, go into like a ranked match and just do it live and show you, you know, what it looks like when you use it and you apply to it see what happens when they switch up now you probably already know uh, it's plus 7 on block this is max on block frames um, other than like dragonfly flea 4 plus 2 or 4 4 4 3 in the dragonfly if you don't do dragonflies uh, just plus 5 4 4 3 but uh, yeah let me just like real quick Show the moves. Show the options available. We are going to talk about the move. Oh. Plus two. Dragonfly four. Plus two. Plus two. And then this right here. That right there is going to be so insane. Because it's set up, you might not even know you have. It's probably going to get patched at some point in time. I'm not even really sure if it's intended, but it's fucking amazing. So while it's here, use it till it's gone. 100 damage combo, I'm going to show you. Off a of counter hit, Dragonfly 4. Plus 2. Sorry, I got string going on in the background. Um, um, I'm gonna show these because I'm gonna talk about these too. I'm sorry. That. And uh, a little bit of this too. Just because you, you're gonna have some like little, little time to talk about raw dragonfly by itself. That's real good. Those moves are better when you do it raw instead of 3 1. Just it depends on the person. They'll work, but, but it all, you know, it all ties in together. But yeah, so 3 1. Mid, high, string. If you hit it, it all goes. If you get blocked on the first move, you can duck it. Obviously, that's why we're here. They can duck it. High is duckable. That's one weakness. It's a good weakness to have, though, because that's what's really bringing us here today. Uh, that weakness is that it's like kind of a strength because that's what gets you to the next part of the video that I'm gonna talk about with the other strings. Whether you do like four one plus two or dragonfly four, or if they start ducking a three one, 
then you just, you know, you know they're a duck and you got options for that too. So it's really the reason why if this didn't have no weakness, then it wouldn't be as fun to use because you wouldn't be able to condition people with it. Boom. So get in 3-1. 22 frames on the second hit. Duckable. Remember that. It's 22 frames on the second hit. Happens in the match. Normally. What happens? What do you do there? You do your 3 1. They block, don't do anything. From here, I would go just Dragonfly 4 1 plus 2, like normal. See what they do. You only add negative 2 on block. Yeah, you could probably flash something, or you can go for a throw. For a throw. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Most people are probably uh, and oh, I got in here that most people in purple are probably pressing something after that, because that's where the person that asks questions from. He says he's in purple ranks, and he said he felt like he was stuck. So I know people are probably pressing like a jab after they do after you after they block the four one plus two. So. You're probably going, you know, I'd start with the flash. I would definitely recommend going with the flash first because it's more common that you get to flash something. You get plus 14 and you go like, you know, you do something like that. All right. Yoshi flow chart. Everybody knows it until... Everybody knows it. Ooh, but you can also do that too. Get you a hot pick. Got options. Can't throw it though. But yeah, those are options I recommend. First you go for the flash. Or you go Yeah, first you would go for the flash. That's what I would recommend first. Then I would go with if they're not doing nothing after that, I would go with a throw. Because that's, that's so good right there. They, they think they're just, you know, they're going to backwalk you. Try not to, you know, do something they want to see what you do. They're going to go for the throw. You do the throw, you hit them with the throw, they'll probably start doing something after that. They'll probably start trying to punch you just so they can be safe or, you know, something like that. They'll start doing something because they're not just going to let you keep doing this and then throwing them. Do this too. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I recommend for that. 3 1, they don't do nothing. Go for a flash. 3 1, 4 plus 2, 4 1 plus 2, I'm sorry. Yeah, but that's what I recommend. You do 3 1, 4 1 plus 2, they don't do nothing. You go for a little flash. If they do, you know, don't do nothing, you don't hit on the flash, go for a throw. Or. If they do something other, just whatever you want. Go for a low, but I would go flash, throw, maybe for a low. If they are a puncher, hop it. But I would wait first before doing those because you got to know. You can't just, you know, you don't want to, you know what I'm saying? You're not that bad. You're not going to get launched unless they like backdash and float you or something like that. But, but yeah, that's the way I would go about it. Next, what do we have here? They block it 3 1, and then they start power crushing you. Right? Like, that's a good option for them, and that's good something that's a good thing for you to take note of because you can see that they have a plan for 3 1. So that means that everything you know, everything else we're gonna go through in this video, they have a plan for 3 1, so they can be conditioned. Are there swords crossing? That's fucking cool. All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> crossing swords in front of everybody, but okay. But yeah, if uh, they're power crushing you, that means they have a plan um, and they can be conditioned because people that have a plan mean they're paying attention. They've paid attention to Yoshi before, so they know that there's something to expect. So now you can play with them. That's where you get the mind game. 
playing against somebody who you can't condition because they don't give a fuck about what you're doing, that's insane. And, <laughs> yeah, there's people like that out there. So, I mean, yeah, you know, it's easier when you can condition somebody. You can't condition them. And you can't condition them. None of this shit in this video is going to work. So just do Yoshi stuff. But if you can condition somebody, you'll probably win more rounds off of just not having to do much. I mean, you still got to do, like, other moves and stuff like that. Everything else that you do while you're fighting. But, um, but yeah, so power crush. I see that actually a lot with kings try to hit you with a power crush. Obviously, then they run with you, get you to shine a wizard. That one plus two break, the one they try to kick you in the face with the knee. Um, at least you got a chance to break that though. But the best part of this power crushing, you can bait it. See what I mean? You can just come down. You don't even have to worry about it. You can come out of Dragonfly, punish the power crush, or you can just, you know, you're safe. You don't have to worry about getting hit. You, and then you have the turn back from there. Uh, but yeah, you, you could also on the four one plus two. You can still go for it if you like, you know, you're gonna win a round or something like that. I don't actually know how much damage that is. What is it, 40? Yeah, it's 40 damage. You get 40 damage, so if you can win a round, you get uh, 40 damage. I'm looking down here. I think it was at 21. Um, there you go. Oh yeah, that's the pickup. So, yeah, that, um, two options, you know, if they're power crushing you, just come down, three options, actually, you got three, you got three. throw, throw, sorry, or just come down, throw. This is another part of the conditioning, because once you do this, they're gonna stop, they're gonna stop power crushing you. They'll probably start, I don't know, they might duck, you know, they might, they might have seen 3-1 enough to just start ducking the one. So, there's no telling, really, honestly. But, if you can get them to stop power crushing you, and if they do stop power crushing you, they're paying attention, that's conditioning, and that works in your favor. Uh, and then just remember, you still, oh, and the fourth option, just go with, go with the four, one plus two. If you can win the round, um, go for it. Fuck it. All right. So, now what happens when you get them conditioned to duck? Uh, if they block three, so we got we got situations where they start ducking. They can block the block, then duck the one, or they can duck the uh, four, one plus two. First, I'm gonna talk about the. Should I go with the one first? I just start with start with them ducking the one, right? Because I got it wrote down this way. So this is the way I'm gonna just do it. That's just the way I'm gonna do it. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna record this. Actually, it's better. I love this train. I love this thing, bro. I don't think that works, but we're gonna try it out. Cause I think that will still hit them. Perfect. I was thinking about the four and the plus two. But yeah, so they block three, duck the one. Then in that case, start going three, two, one, plus two. Uh, like I said before, the two, 22 frames. The one, also 22 frames, so that should mix up. Now three twos, negative 12 on block, and three two one plus two, negative 14. Uh, sometimes people block three two, and they still press on the one plus two, so it's still worth going for the last hit, especially because it can delay it. Being interrupted if you delay it too much, but at the same time, anybody that's interrupting that, they most likely get hit by a last hit at least once or twice. 
if they are ducking you on the one, you are most likely guaranteed to. Nobody's gonna start just ducking you and then not duck you. They're gonna, you know, hit that, get that 41 damage. Oh, oops. Uh, 41 damage if you got your sword out, 51 and no sword stance. And like I said before, the first and second hit, 22. So that's a different, same, same frame. Same frame data for the high and the mid. If you can get them to duck, they are probably gonna stop ducking. Cause I think they would take this. Somebody's gonna take this. Uh, somebody's gonna take this. I just got hit for 41. Instead of, instead of taking, um, ducking the two, ducking the one, sorry. You hit them with this. They're probably gonna go back to stand blocking the whole thing because, or that, but they're probably gonna go back to stand blocking the whole thing because it's so much better for them to just end up plus two after the Dragonfly one plus two and then, you know, they only got a really good with whatever you might do. She be popping out babies and shit? Why is casting that coming out of my computer? That bitch ain't no rebirth for me. Anyway. Probably better for them to just end up plus two. Deal with the options. Throw break, floor, it's a low, or the flash. But I don't think, you know, because I take I take that because I see it, you know, people don't want to just take 51. If they can wait and get a chance to like not take the damage and get the turn, they're probably gonna stop ducking the three two. So but yeah, like I said, they start ducking the ducking your one. The three two one plus two. Guaranteed to work. It's not that it's broken, it's not that it's guaranteed to work. It's just the fact that they have to make the decision. What's next? What we got? Oh, so stay blocked to th uh, block three, duck to one. Just go for the three. See what they do. Are they a ducker? This will tell you kind of, you know, just tell you what you need to know. You can go for a three. Pause. Three, one. Or you can go three. You don't even have to do that. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do it for you. Get your own. Just depending on if they respond. Most people might just try to jab, but if they take a little second because they're expecting it, you know what I'm saying? You could, you could do all types of stuff. All types of stuff. But yeah, three pause, and three one, three two one plus two. That's a good option right there. What else we got next? Uh, oh, so the next part. If they block 3-1, start ducking the Dragonfly for 1 plus 2. I should have actually talked about this before to keep it consistent. Because I started off with the Dragonfly for 1 plus 2 stuff. But it's okay. Y'all, yo, we got brain cells. So y'all know y'all can keep up with this. I have to even worry about that. So, but yeah. Block 3-1, start ducking the 1 plus 2. Um, obviously, they are tired of being hit by this. Tired of being plus two. They want to try and do more than just be plus two. And maybe you've done this to them too many times. Maybe you've done so much to them that they just don't want to be in that situation no more. Because you're just kind of tearing them apart. Right here. So they start ducking the four one plus two. We're going to start going for Duck you. Okay, so you know what you can do. One four. That's perfect. 18 frames comes out at 11 since you got plus seven, which is because they are not blocking the one. And you can lose to a jab. You can get floated, but if you do three one dragonfly four one plus two, if you do this enough, they shouldn't be trying to jab you after they, you know, after you hit them with three one.
They should know. All right, so man, there's another way to go about this. I'm gonna talk about that later. But they shouldn't be trying to jab you out of this because they should know. So they should know that they can only duck. You might get ducked once and you'll have to take that combo if you go that way. Um, you actually don't, and you don't have to wait for them to start ducking it. You can just try it because you think maybe, maybe they're learning, right? But if you take one combo, you might not lose the round. Especially like if you're in the middle of the screen or you never know. They might be in raids. If they're in heat, then you know it's mileage may vary. It's all types of stuff that can happen, right? But there just should not be just trying to jab you after this because they should know that after all the options that you've shown them, they should just duck. So boom, that's what's gonna come into you. It's gonna get you your four. Because they should know that you, they should know that they can go. Um, there's another part of this though. A lot of people will like forget the conditioning that you showed them. They'll just start doing their own thing and just letting it play the game instead of playing the frames. And that's fine because then you'll prob you can probably go. You know, you can probably do this. And still get you know back into doing this you can probably still get back there because they're gonna like oh oh i don't know i'm supposed to duck that but i tried to they'll know and people mess up so and you keeping them on them to on them on their toes is like the part of this that is working in your favor it's all the conditioning and everything like that right so uh but yeah if they start ducking on four one plus two next we can just go for um one, I don't do this that much, but you know, 30 frames, it launches in heat. I don't do that one often. I honestly really don't even recommend doing that. It's like go to, I, actually, if I'm doing Dragonfly one, I'm gonna do it like that. But because Dragonfly raw by itself into one is a whole lot better than 311. Um, so I probably and I probably should have said this one second, but like, if you know you don't want to, they start ducking you. If they're ducking the dragonfly. Just come down. You know what I mean? Just come down. Um. Beast other thing. Beast the ten frame jab. You say, cool, you know, you can come out. You don't have to put yourself at risk. You can just give it all up. They plus one, they do a job. You're good. 10 frames. I think Chow, you got that parry joint that she can do. And uh, I think you can even still get, let me see. I think you can still get away from it. Battle. I just want to see. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know how many frames that is. I think it's eight. Let me see real quick. Right, so. Oops. Oh, I hate that so much, bro. That's something you're gonna run into and it is gonna suck, but. That works against her. That's a better option. You know what I'm saying? You got options against her. Um, but yeah, so she's gonna fuck up your whole everything. She's gonna fuck up all this shit. So, so yeah, you know, just come down. 
Oops. You can't do anything. You can wait. Nothing. Can't do anything. I want to keep her here because I want to see if this works. Trades. Insane. Shouldn't, but that's another part of that. Dry, uh, four, four, two. That's another part. Um, but yeah. So, Chow you, you, you should, uh, and anybody else that might have like a eight frame kind of thing, you give it a second before you make your move, or you just calm down, and uh, or you try the one. You see what you can do because uh, she's just different. She's outside of this. Get ready for the next battle. Um, but yeah, like playing the safe when you come out of Dragonfly, that's fine. That's just that's a good move. Because what if they press something? Um, since they duck the three one. I mean, yeah, they duck the four one plus two. What if they press something? You just, you, you just, you know what I'm saying? What if they do a big move? You know, you can probably punish that. Try and launch you, you can uh, maybe get like a back 2-2 two -two or something like that. Let me go into um, punishment. That's what I was thinking. No, punish training. Is Flash on here? Flash on here. So you gotta worry about Yoshi. Okay. All types of stuff. So but you probably already know this, but yeah, you gotta worry about Yoshi too. Um and I know somebody else has a parry, I just can't think of him. But yeah, like I said, you know, come down. All types of stuff, honestly. I don't even know if I have enough time to do this. All types of stuff. But yeah, coming down, good option. And this will probably cause them to change what they do if, they, if that person has a parry or if, if even talking about people with a parry or people that can um duck the four at one plus two normal situation if they duck in the one plus two I was, like i said we just gonna you know come down that's okay condition them to think you're not gonna do nothing and um you probably get, you know, take a turn back. Do I have to say anything else about that? Um, that's four and one plus two. Let's just say that. But um, in a way, will this get you? How does this get you back to four and one plus two? Well, that should be up there. But whatever. Any case. If they're ducking the four, one plus two, and you switch to the four, they're going to start stand blocking. You can go back to four, one plus two. Um, but those are those options. Those are those options and the conditioning. And like I said, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to get into a game real quick. But I'm going to talk about the worst case scenarios for this is uh, if they duck your three, one. All right? Worst case scenario for that. And the reason why you get launched, you gotta take that combo, but that's okay. But you get launched, you take a combo, but you know what to do next, right? They duck three one. Worst case scenario, you go three two one plus two. Oops. 
Why is that there? One plus two. Right? Uh, second worst? No. Like, and I meant from bad to not so bad. So this is worse. Number two, uh, three, two, one plus two gets blocked. Somehow, after all the conditioning, you're doing this, and they just somehow just... Well, they guess right. I mean, the people are going to guess, right? Because they know they have to. They block the 3, 2, 1, plus 2. Um, you end up your negative 14 after the string. You can't get launched unless they got a 14-frame throw launch, like Law or something like that. Or you, at least you got a chance to break that. But Or if they in heat and they got something like Yoshi has a back 2-2. Two, two. Um, and that's not that bad. You know, just worry about, you know, if you're going for 3, 2, 1, plus 2, just keep in mind if, they, if they're in heat, then that you could possibly get launched from that. But still, just another combo. And honestly, there's not really much wrong with them getting that right. That's just they got it right. Um, get the outcome in heat. Play to this is that it's okay because I had to guess anyway. Um, but now the three, two, one plus two, I stay go for the whole thing. You can stop at two, uh, three is negative nine. The two is negative 12 and the one plus two is negative 14. So you can stop at the two. You can delay it a little bit because like I said before, it's delayable. You might still get that one plus two in there. And I don't know how much damage that is. Honestly, can't remember. <laughs> So much range, Jesus. Uh, 29 damage. I'm gonna put these commands on here, right? Um, because I should have had them on just cause it's, just cause of the video, just because of the video. All right, but yeah, sorry, they had the guts anyway. Still go for the. Mm. Stop at the two. Uh, next one. They block three one and then power crush you. This is not that bad because you can know now that they are a power crusher. You can take the power crush the first time and the damage. And bait the power crush. That's outcome. You take the power crush the first time, you take the damage. But to follow up for that, you can bait the power crush. Like the part where they, you know, you know they're going for a power crush. Then you just come down. And I'll just do it back on the screen again. Come back down. I'm going to put some chapters in this too. Right. I shouldn't have switched to child you, but that's been messed up on my recordings, but it's okay. Down four one or no. Where's down four two? Why isn't that in here? I guess these are the same, right? Um, Fifteen, yeah. So anyway, well, yeah. So you get a power crusher. He's a power crusher. Oops. Apologies. Oh, you can come down and throw it, but you can just go for it. But you have to do that one kind of quick, so you can come down. Throw him. Come down. That combo. Uh, so, yeah, that was the option of the power crush. Big power crush. 
and just follow up accordingly based on the options. So you can do the throw, you can do the three, the dragon five three, or you can do, or you can just come down and punch the power crush if you block it. The next worst, next least worst is block Dragonfly 4, negative 4 on block. That's fine. Obviously, you just lost a turd. You don't really have to worry about nothing for real. I don't think I even have to add an extra note to that. And then the last one is, which is the best scenario, kind of. They blocked a 3 1 4 1 plus 2. Oops. They're plus two on block. And you know, that's option. Flash. Those are options, depending on what they do. Flash, throw, or a low. Well, unless it's a Yoshi. He might flash you. <laughs> if it's a Yoshi, he might flash you. Um, Yoshi or a Chow you. They might do crazy. There you go. Uh, but then, so yeah, like I was showing, all the options, they're designed to rotate through each other because you do them, your opponent responds to them. If they respond correctly, then you can successfully move to the next option. It's basically how it's set up. If you get your four, one plus two duct, go for the four, you should hit. If they start blocking the four, then you could be able to go through the four, one plus two. It should work. Um, there's different frames for those. 16. 18 so you can possibly you know there's ways to guess right just depend you know depending on how much experience they got playing against Yoshi um, most people are gonna get it wrong more than they get it right and that's just part of this tacking right it's the game some people are gonna get it right more than they get it wrong um, but don't forget you know this is the other part of it too the most important the other major part of it isn't about what you do when you get the dragonfly it's about three one and three two because those 22 frame options go for the same it's not just about the dragonfly stuff it's about what you do after the three honestly so that's what makes this so strong see if they duck after a three that's if somebody just ducks after a three they are a Yoshi main um, behind the scenes. And you can tell when somebody ducks after a three, if they just know to duck. Like Law has a four, three, four, plus four. No, three plus four, four, whatever that is. Um, and people just duck. I think everybody ducks that now. Everybody knows free launch. So, of, of course. But while you're going through all this, you're gonna get some damage. You're gonna obviously be running their life down. So, uh, what I say my goal is when I'm doing this is that it'd be nice to land three one or three one dragonfly four while I'm in heat, so you can get a combo. It's not really that important to have a goal because you're gonna be doing damage the whole time anyway. But if the best situation for three one is to go into a combo while you in heat, probably in the round. You can get the heat engager dash and then, you know, do whatever you want with that. There's plenty of combos out there, I know. And then like I said before at the start, uh this will just start being in the it'll just start being automatic, you know, you won't even have to think about it. Once you see the results from the options, once you see people responding to it properly, you just flow through it. The response dictate what you gotta do next. And like as soon as they like I said before, I'm reiterating again, as soon as they start set ahead of three one, I might just like me personally, I'll just go straight to three two one plus two. If that lands, I'll probably go to three one again. I'm not like always waiting for them to guess the right thing. I might just switch back and forth. Or I'll probably do three one twice and then three two one plus two. 
or I'll do three, two, one plus two. And that's a, that's a mid stream. So all they have to do is block back, start that. You know, I might be negative 14 at the end of the stream, but this will incentivize them to not duck. They have no reason to start ducking after three because all I've ever done was three, two, one plus two. So you open up them with, with the uh, option that you haven't shown them yet. And, you know, I said this already. You can tell somebody who knows to duck instinctively. They duck, you know, Dragonfly 4, 1 plus 2. I'm going straight to Dragonfly 4 after the 3 1. Uh, now, this is something outside of the conditioning. It's, it's, you take damage for it. But I will do this. I've done this so many times. I've done this so many times. Um. Punish. I do this. Sorry. I need to dab. I need to dab. I, I might start around. I have plenty of clips of me doing this. Why is it a flash? But that's fine too. Uh, this one? But yeah. Do I not have a one? Okay. I'm brain dead. I'm not as smart as I thought I was. But yeah, start around like this. Going for the four. Go straight for the four, get floated, right? Take the damage, get floated. And the reason I do that is because you can trick them into going for this. It's actually a whole lot better for a setup when you go um, baiting them into a jab. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Dragonfly 4, 1 plus 2 is a 20 frame move and lands, and that's broken. It's probably going to get patched, like I said. It's amazing while it's here, but the game only tells you that your guy's plus 7, right? You plus 7 down there? Um... But you know he's jabbing. Y'all see me put the jab right there. That lands every time. If you're in no sword stance. If you're in heat, it lands too. You can have the sword out when you do it. Uh, you have to be careful to hold up and not... You have to be careful to hold up and not forward so you don't get the heat dash. Um, but yeah, whether you're in no sword stance or in heat, you get that. 100 damage. 100 damage combo. Actually, I messed up. I'm sorry. I'm not a good. I'm bad. I'm terrible, actually. Even if that gets patched, we can still get 100 damage off of the Yoshi stuff. It, that is in the game and supposed to be in the game. Um, uh, shit, talking about damage. If they don't, they probably going to nerf damage stuff. So, I mean, but right now, you know, even if, don't feel bad about using that because you got 100 damage off of it. They wouldn't feel bad if they was on the other side doing it to you. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so whatever. Oh, oh, these are my notes. It's my extra notes. But, yeah, I'm going to probably use a script to make a three. Because I, I had to answer this question I made a video, so that's why I know it. But, yeah, I got it in that combo video. There's a combo video on my page at 94 seconds or a minute and 29 seconds. It shows that combo and some other little setups for some 100 damage combos. And, uh... Yeah, so, anyway, went through this. I will do chapters because I know I've rambled a lot, but the notes are here. You know, that's why I kind of free talked it, like FDX. Y'all know how he talks. He has a script, and he just kind of, or he has notes, and he'll just, like, say stuff, and it all makes sense. Hopefully, I did something like that, and everything makes sense. Um, 
but yeah, I haven't played today, so uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll do a rank match. I don't really care. Plus minus three. Again. Final round. Fight. <laughs> Ducking in the first round, he uh, stopped. He started ducking again. Ooh, fuzzy ducking. Round one. Fight. Into it. He Round forgot two. about what he was doing Fight. at the start.
I didn't know he had that. I've never seen that before. Fight. So he ducked uh, the dragonfly, right? So I was just hit. And that's what it is. He, was a, he had good defense. 80 is crazy. That's actually, it's higher than mine. But I don't even like, I don't like that fight that much because I normally don't record on this computer. So I apologize for that.
but yeah, that that is uh, that's how you go through it. I mean, like I said, you you gotta you do other stuff. You got the moves. Things of that nature. Get ready for the next battle. Thanks. <laughs> One more, just to see if this helps. Get ready for the next battle. Ooh. A Yoshi. Cool. Started out ducking. Before. Oh, I should have seen this. Uh, Round one. Fight. <laughs> I didn't know what his plan is, so I just didn't Round do nothing. Two. I could have flashed. Fight. Fight! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that was the throw. That was great. That was great. I didn't know the throw would beat. Oh, it's because he was on round. a heat dash. Yeah, he dash. Fight. <laughs> See what he got. It's good, it's good, it's good. Give me seven. Round one. Fight. <laughs> That's nice enough, but you know, once you see that options, just go to the next thing. Don't worry about why they ducking it, whatever they ducking either the one or the four or one plus two, it don't matter. Just go to the next one and see what happens. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, if this helps in any kind of way, I'm glad. First of all, I'm happy that I could even do anything that helps. Because uh, it's the whole point of this shit is to get better and help people get better. So, happy about that. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't hit the button, that's fine too. Uh, leave a comment, either one. Or don't do anything. Just watch it and enjoy it and then go beat up some people. 
Uh, subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm going to mess with these settings some more because I want to be able to record on this computer, but that's, that's neither here nor there. I should be able to do hides because I can find quality I'm going to do. Look at this drip. It's the heat engagers that are causing that, so. Anti-aliasing as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll play this anyway. But yeah, like I said, you know, all this other stuff. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, like I said, if it helps, you know, do all that stuff. And uh, enjoy. Have a good time at Tech. And y'all have a good night. Peace out.